Hi, I'm Mrs. Dean Math. Thanks for joining me today. If you've been here before, welcome back. We're going to be going over writing inequalities from situations in seventh grade math. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is an inequality? Well, an inequality is a math statement that compares two expressions using symbols. And those symbols are typically less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. You may find some more as you get into higher level math, but those are the most common ones that you're gonna see in seventh grade problems. Now, that inequality is usually in place of an equal sign. So we're not talking about equations here, we're talking about inequalities. So let's look at these symbols and their meanings and some keywords, because you're going to be looking at a situation, which is typically some type of a word problem, and you're gonna to have to figure out which of these words mean which symbol. So the first one is our less than symbol, and some of the keywords for less than might be fewer, smaller, below, under, obviously less than. There are more words, but those are some of the more common ones. The next one we're gonna look at is less than or equal to. This means that it could be less than, but it could also be equal to. It's gonna be either or. So these keywords might be at most, no more than, or no greater than. You might see either one of those options. Another common one is maximum. The third symbol we're gonna look at is greater than. Greater than could be more than. exceeds, larger, or possibly above. And then the last one is a greater than or equal to. So again, this one can either be greater than or it could possibly be equal to. Common words are gonna be at least, minimum, no less or fewer than. So we'll say no less than, might use the word fewer. So let's go ahead and look at a problem here that goes with these keywords. Paul brought cookies for his coworkers. He put half in the break room and took the rest to his office. He ate three cookies and at least 15 were left. Write an inequality to find the number of cookies Paul brought to the office. So again, we're gonna break this down just the same as we did with an equation. The first thing we wanna look for is what we're trying to find, and we're trying to find the number of cookies. Well, so let's go ahead and make our variable a C for cookies. And so he took those cookies to his coworkers and he put half in the break room. So that's gonna look like one half C. So now I have half of those cookies and he ate three cookies. Again, we're still taking away the three that he ate. And it tells me that there is at least 15 left. So I know there's gonna be 15 over here, but instead of an equal sign, we have at least. Well, this is where your key words come in. If I look up here to the words at least, I can see that here in the greater than or equal to part of my chart. So I know that at least means greater than or equal to. Now you're not always gonna have a chart with you, so let's talk about how to determine this. Well, if I'm saying that I have at least 15, that means I could have 15 or I could have more than 15. So if I see that word at least, I know that means I could have the same amount, which is equal to, or I could have more than that amount, which is greater than. So that's gonna be a greater than or equal to symbol. So let's look at a couple other examples and go ahead and break these down. So now we have Jack and Jack bought four new pairs of shorts and a shirt. The shirt was $18 and the total amount was more than $110. Write an inequality to find the cost of each pair of shorts. Another key part here that's going to let you know that this is not a typical equation is when they put inequality in the problem, which is not always gonna be the case, but here they do do that for us. So again, we're trying to find the cost of each pair of shorts. So we're gonna make S our variable. 
I have my shorts here and I know there are four of them. So that's going to look like 4S. Then I'm going to buy a shirt along with that. So that means I'm adding the cost of the shirt, $18. And I know that I paid more than $110. Well, more than $110 means greater than 110. So now I have my inequality here and I'm going to just use that to solve the problem. We are going to go into how to solve inequalities in another video. So we'll go ahead and move on to the next example. But when you do solve inequalities, it's the same way as solving an equation. If it's a two step or a one step or even multiple steps, the only difference is instead of an equal sign, you have that inequality symbol. So let's look at our last example. Sarah and her friends went to dinner. They ordered three hamburgers and an appetizer. The appetizer was $6.75, and the total cost of the bill was less than $31.65. Write any inequality to find the cost of each burger. All right, well, I know I'm looking for burgers. That's my variable, and I'm gonna have three of those, so that's three B. And the appetizer, was something else I bought that cost $6.75. And I know all of this together cost less than $31.65. So we'll go ahead and solve this one. We are going to first subtract the $6.75 from our total cost. So now I know the three burgers cost less than $24.90. When I divide both sides by three, the cost of each burger is less than $8.30. So I don't know the exact cost, but I do know that each burger costs less than $8.30. It could have been $8.29 each. It just depends. It could be that they cost $8 and then all that extra amount maybe was the tip. They don't include that information. So you're not worried about what that information is. You're just worried about solving for the actual cost of it. I hope this video helped you in understanding inequalities and what the words mean for each inequality in a situation. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mrs. D Math. This has been Writing Inequalities from Situations in 7th Grade Math. Have a great day. Bye.